Welcome back to Fabco Air. You know, this next group of cylinders we're going to cover carries on the pancake tradition of most stroke in the smallest package. First up, it's the Pancake 2. It's a direct interchange cylinder that improves performance in some major areas. So with me again, I've got Scott Lamar, the Vice President here at Fabco. He did such a great job in the first video, I brought him back in for a second one. So Scott, I need you to kind of talk us through these as well. You know, the piston assembly on this itself is pretty unique. Piston assemblies on all of our cylinders have a shaft, counterboard, countersunk, piston head, and a grade 8 flathead screw. The whole assembly is loctited and torqued together. It gives you a true piston to shaft, and it's a very strong bond. And it's not coming apart, that's a key. No, no it's not. You know, when you look at the Pancake 2 from the outside, you can see something that here it strikes a chord, it's the composite barrel. Pancake 2 has a composite barrel, composite bearing for the rod, thicker rear cover, and the 303 hard chrome stainless. The MagnaLube G pre-lube and the internal lubing of this standard composite barrel that we have, coupled with the internally lubed seal, you've got a bulletproof cylinder. Talk about bulletproof, is that is that rear cover? I mean, this is a lot thicker than what standard is. Yeah, we've seen in the field uh, some other cylinders that blow out the rear cover when they're mounted on the rod end. That's not good. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. You know, another thing I think we were pointing out is an option available from Fabco is that, that twin piston assembly. Yeah, when you need non-rotating in the Pancake 2, instead of having orbitally riveted piston uh, rods, we have a TIG welded assembly. And these shafts and the piston head, the stainless piston head, are put in a fixture, TIG welded, and they're dead nuts non-rotating. So you don't have a binding, you don't have a helical motion, just uh, makes for a good non-rotating cylinder. And I'm assuming with the Pancake too, some of the mounting options are similar to what you'd have with the Pancake. They are. You got the front and rear face, you can get tap mounting holes, you can get a trunnion that's a standard catalog option, and we talked about that in the Pancake video, threaded nose mount, clevis mount, and even an eye mount. Okay, so that's the Pancake 2 in a nutshell. If you want to learn more, you can go either to their website, catalog, or call up one of the local sales guys here from Fabco. But it's time to move on now to the Square Cylinders. You know, the Square 1 is a group of cylinders that were designed to further a customer's needs for space saving. With the Square design, the center-to-center -center spacing can be decreased for those applications that require multiple cylinders. You know, with the Square 1 cylinders, it all starts with the hard anodized bodies. One inch stroke and above, get a Teflon piston bearing and a longer bearing on the rod. And we've got three mounting styles. You've got the side tap mount, side lug mount, and then you have a face mount. So it gives you a lot of versatility in your mounting. That's cool. You know, these also have the composite bearing, 303 hard chrome, stainless shaft, and the Teflon impregnated Magnolub G. A lot of the things you come to see from the Pancake and the Pancake 2 they, is carried over they to carry the square. They carry over, yes. Perfect. Now we've got the Global Series Cylinders, which are Fabco's extruded body answer to international brand cylinders. With metric bore and shaft diameter, these cylinders are available in imperial and metric form. You know, bores start at 12 millimeter and go up to 100 millimeter, with stroke up to 150 millimeter. You know, as with the square, the bodies are hard anodized. They use composite bearings and 303 hard chrome shafting. You know, Scott, tell us about specifically this GT. GT cylinders are guided tool plates. These are meant for torsional handling, non-rotating. These are not slides. Okay. You've got a smaller guide shaft and a large bore. We have the uh, composite bearing and the hard chrome guide shafts. We have a bolt pattern with dowel holes in the tool plate so you can affix your product onto it. Very robust, non-rotating. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Moving on from the Global Series to the Long Stroke. Now these are the Long Stroke cylinders. You can see this is a round and square head and they're an extension of that pancake line. You know, while Pancake stops at four inch strokes, the same mounting footprint and long stroke can enable a customer to get up to 60 inches of stroke. That's, That's right. some serious stroke oh, we're yeah. talking about. Oh yeah. The way we handle that stroke, number one, the long stroke's got a larger cross section O-ring, a Teflon piston head, and a longer bearing. So okay. that'll accommodate the strokes. Okay. It's really robust. With the round head, again, it's an extension of the Pancake. It's got the same mounting from two inch to four inch bore. You can get clevis mount, you can get front or rear face mount. With the squares, you can get a side lug mount or a side tap mount. Okay, so that's the long stroke. You know, the last in the cylinder group that we want to talk about here today is the high power cylinders. They range from an inch and an eighth to 12 inch bore, and the high power are designed specifically for those people who have space constraints. Now there's three different options available, right Scott? Yeah, we have the HP, which is a high power, and that is good for up to four inches stroke. We've got basically just an O-ring on the piston head and a long rod bearing. 
We have a THP, which gives you a Teflon wear strip that allows you to go longer and have bearing on the piston head and on the rod. The UHP is for larger bore, longer stroke applications. It has two U-cups on it and a wear strip on the U-cup. What happens there is you don't get a rolling of the O-ring okay. over a long stroke and a larger bore. Of course, on all these, you can get the adjustable stroke or dialer stroke. That allows you to adjust your extend stroke for different size products. Nice. Okay, so that pretty much covers this group of cylinders. You know, to learn more about any of these cylinders, any of the products that Fabco offers, you know, it's always a good option to check out Fabco Air's website. Go to www.fabco-air.com.